Sean Laney on Facebook asked me, Hey, do you have any advice for Leo's fried potatoes? Which is this channel he's created. And so today I thought, just for fun, since I've been on YouTube for three years now, I think I kind of get the gist. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying like I'm famous, but I get the gist of what it's like to be a YouTuber and like how YouTube works. And I think I'm qualified to give advice on for new YouTubers. So here's advice for new YouTubers. First off, my first bit of advice to you guys is original. Now, it might seem tempting to, you know, jump on a craze, do challenge videos, or something like that that conjures popularity, uh, but I would definitely stray away from this. I know you think, But Caleb, you started off doing challenge videos. And yes, that's true. That is completely true. But that was at the beginning, and I learned from that. Number 1.5 I'm gonna go with, because this is kind of a continuation of our previous one, is find something that you enjoy doing, something that is uniquely yours. Find your thing, if you will. For example, mine is being, you know, one-on-one -on -one with my audience. This is like uh, forming a connection with my audience as if I'm just telling them about my day as if they were one of my friends or things like that. Don't try to figure out what your thing is right away. Try a few things. I've done Let's Plays. I've done challenge videos, we don't talk about the Dark Ages. Number two, don't be afraid to try new things, which I guess is still a continuation. This is a good kind of continuation. So let's say you do the same thing every day. I do vlogtastics all the time. Uh, that doesn't have to be who you are. I am planning on other things. They hardly ever get done, but I, I plan a lot of things that never happen. But the point is that if you s trap yourself in a box, then it's hard to keep going on that one idea forever. You need more creative outlets and things like that. So just don't be afraid to try new things. Number three, be yourself. Now, I guess these are all kind of really similar threads. Don't try to be this like, just because spastic, hyper quick moving people are like the popular thing on YouTube, just be who you are. Present videos that you enjoy making and you don't have to pretend to be something else because no one likes a faker, really. I say that even though I talk with a fake American accent at this point. I'm a bit of a hypocrite, but like, yeah. I lost count at this point, but next up, upload schedules are a beautiful thing. I'm not supposed to, I probably should be the one talking about upload schedules, uh, seeing as I haven't followed mine in like two months. But when people know when your videos are going to be, they're more likely to come in and check, like, hey, my videos were on Sunday through Wednesday, and I imagine my viewers would click on every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever they... They would know there'd be a video there, and they can count on you. Because my next point, be dependable. When you say you're gonna do something, do try to do it. I am such a hypocrite with these advices. Next with advice, be prepared to never get famous. I've been doing this for three years, and this morning I think I had 74 subscribers. And... I'm just be happy to be yourself and to be creative and be happy with what you do have and don't like, like you'll probably never get famous that's what I'm getting at next editing 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 look there's two ways a conversation can go there's a conversation where I can uh, not edit anything and it, it's really awkward and uncomfortable or I can edit and I can make things a lot more smoothly and it flows a lot better. I personally use Kind Master on my phone which is something it, it works great but like there's a watermark if you don't pay for it and I don't have a way to pay for it. And then on my computer I use Wondershare Filmora. It's pretty great. I'd recommend it. This isn't a sponsor or anything. <laughs> I am not famous enough for sponsors. Intros and outros. Now, I don't really do anything notable with my intros and outros, but like, intros are very helpful, like, pull in the audience. Get them in with the first few seconds, that way they don't just click away. So, a lot of people don't like put a weird part of the vlog or whatever they're doing at the beginning to draw attention. And then outros are very important because they can do a lot of things for you. They can get people to watch other videos, they can get people to subscribe, they help create an endless stream of way content of your videos to get to instead of having to search around for more videos. They can also get them to your social medias if you have social medias. I have two. I really need to get like social medias that are named after my channel and not just my random social medias I had before. And finally, and I cannot stress this enough, read your comments. For a long time you probably won't actually get comments, but once you have, 
Those are very important pieces of information sometimes. Sometimes they're not, okay? Sometimes you can get good insights into what your viewers like about what you're doing, or what they don't like, and ways you can become a better YouTuber. I understand everyone that, you know, a big thing is also having like a good camera and lighting and things like that, but starting out, in fact, maybe never, you might never actually get those things. But for the most part, if you make quality videos on the content, even though like the video quality isn't the best, then you should be at least enjoyable to people. Like, I don't think I have that good of a video quality. I think my video quality is awful. I think my lighting is horrendous. But I still think that people enjoy my videos. So I hope that helped you guys out. This is just kind of a video I thought I'd do. I've had three years of this. I think I kind of got the gist of it, even though I'm not famous, so I don't know. You don't have to listen to me. These are just good bits of advice. So, uh... Good luck on YouTube, that's all I really got for you guys today, I hope you enjoyed it, if you liked the video, like the video, share if you want to be popular, and subscribe if you want to see new content, eventually. <laughs> I've been Kelvin, you've been an audience, bye!